In our town Gothenburg, the high school FFA chapter has a long history and tradition of excellence. It turns out the program received the award of being the top chapter in the state at the 2023 state FFA convention. Students take a great deal of pride in the Gothenburg FFA program. And in this story, we meet some of them and find out why it's so successful. At many high schools, sports teams are often a focal point when it comes to school pride. But at Gothenburg High School, the FFA program is definitely on par with athletics when it comes to notoriety and popularity. Here in Gothenburg, there was an ag teacher that served more than 30 years of his career dedicating his life and his soul and everything, blood, sweat and tears into this program and to building leaders within the community and it's important here. FFA is not just attracting kids from the farm. Kids from all walks of life are taking part in the program. In fact, 240 students are involved from seventh grade through the college level. We do have a two teacher ag program and so kids have the opportunity of taking 16 different ag classes in their time from 7th through 12th grade. This helps students to find their areas of interest and there are many opportunities. One example of a community service project that Gothenburg FFA students have taken part in is Meals on Wheels. What we do is we, the Senior Center is actually volunteers, so a bunch of volunteers from the community will go and cook meals and we'll package them up and put them in coolers. The students usually help out for three weeks during the summer. You get a cooler full of the hot food and then a cooler full of the cold food, which is like the milk and the fruit and stuff. And so that food just gets delivered to the doors of uh, the elderly and the people in need of the community. Many students in Gothenburg's FFA program are interested in entrepreneurship. Carson Ryman started a potato growing business called Ryman Spuds back in 2022 through an FFA chapter grant. So I started with a potato digger and not a lot of plans. I had about 500 pounds of seed potatoes. I got some stuff planted and I grew it and I sold it to some people. It actually worked out pretty well. Last year I started with about 0.3 acres and this year I've got about 0.8. Students with the Gothenburg FFA program are also thinking outside the box when it comes to promoting tourism in the town of Gothenburg. Avery Solomon says as far back as eighth grade, she wanted her supervised agricultural experience to be something different. Because my community has benefited me a lot in so many different ways. And I just thought, how could I showcase that to people? Avery decided to develop an audio tour to highlight the many historical locations in Gothenburg, like the original Pony Express Station. Um, worked with Mark Payton, my local voice, for my audio tour. And then we come up with the script, record it, and then I work on getting photos and putting that together to make sort of a video audio combo so that way people can see what the location looks like if they're just maybe traveling through and they don't want to see it or also if they want to stop by and look. These are just some examples of how Gothenburg FFA students are excelling inside and outside the classroom and it's evidence for why the program is getting so many awards and receiving high praise. During like um, National FFA week we have businesses that just reach out to us and say hey uh, can we help you with this? Can we sponsor this? And it's just, it's heartwarming, FFA. Like, it's, it's a big deal. A big deal and a program that is providing future leaders that will go on to serve our town Gothenburg and beyond. Coming up tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m., tune in for a half-hour special featuring coverage of our town Gothenburg. If you miss some of the stories during the week, you will see all of them. That's tomorrow night right here on 1011.